What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I'm going to talk to you about ChargePoint, go over some of the data points, some of the latest updates and things that you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So today it is down 3.69% and oddly enough, that's kind of normal for the EV sector right now. But there is a lot of volatility. So it did have a high of $7.94, low being $7.64. So new 52 week and all time low, unfortunately, for today. A little bit lower volume as well. So 10.24 million shares being traded. 17 is the average. And you can tell that as well by looking here. Just big money is not buying. Actually, it's kind of the opposite. Based on the options activity, there's a lot of downside that is anticipated because there's $1.72 million in puts being purchased versus 839,000 in call premium. So again, like I said, a lot of people are anticipating it to go down and it is basically just these four red candles. That is the majority of the puts, but still at the end of the day, that does signal that big money is not buying, rather they are anticipating it to go down. So once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all of that. But as far as the calls though, you can look right here. This is just the grid for only calls based on the expiry date and strike prices and everything. It is anticipated to be around the $8 range within the next couple of weeks, but Again, there's a lot of different things working against ChargePoint right now. And one of which is just Powell. So Powell has been coming out saying that there is going to be obviously a lot of interest rate hikes in the coming months to combat against inflation. And then at the same time, you also have Tesla. So their whole alliance that GM, Ford um, obviously joined, and most recently as well, Rivian, as far as their whole charging network. So this alliance, unfortunately, really does and truly does damage damage charge point. Um, so once again, it's just more of a short term issue because that whole alliance is going to be kicking off, I guess, officially in 2024. And it would hypothetically cost ChargePoint quite a lot of money to really adapt um, in that. But still, it can be done. So in my opinion, I do feel that this is a little bit more of an overreaction right now, a little bit. But keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. You guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day, because especially Especially like I mentioned, even though it might be considered an overreaction, big money is not buying. If anything, uh, they are basically anticipating it to go down. But over and above that, though, looking here, as far as the number of ETFs that are holding charge point, surprisingly, it actually has gone up over the last quarter. So currently there is 71 ETFs that do hold charge point which is fairly good. I do believe it was up from 66 the last quarter. So again, that's something that you always really want to watch for uh, because that does add a little bit more liquidity and so forth. So definitely that might be something coming. And in that regard, when it comes down to ETFs, usually at the end of every quarter, so most likely either tomorrow or early next week, a lot of them rebalance their portfolios. So of course, uh, with obviously the end of the quarter ending in a week and a half or whatever it might be, then you're going to see a lot more institutions potentially getting in or at least rebalancing in that regard. But over and above that, I'll give you guys a quick overview on what shorts are doing because shorts have been a pain for a while, uh, unfortunately. So short score is currently 87. Utilization is at 100%. And as far as what they're doing today, they are increasing 2.15 million shares. So if you kind of factor that in um, overall that they're increasing that amount and just by looking at the volume, they do make up a good percentage of the daily volume. But still over and above that 21.4% of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 64.52 million shares overall being shorted so once again um, definitely charge point does have a lot of the basic fundamentals for a good squeeze behind the scenes it just needs a good surprise catalyst and based on my interpretation and my knowledge of what is coming for them operationally I don't see that um, obviously coming right now at least cost of borrow average is 12.99 percent as well so again it is what it is let me know you guys thoughts on all of that in the comments below at the same time if you guys are looking for a lot of good compiled information such as this transcripts SEC filings, everything that you need, finances, take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium. I do have a seven day free trial for you guys in the description below and also the comments. But as far as the technicals and where I see things going as of right now. So right now it is lower percentile of the boiling band. It is below a lot of the pitiful moving averages, including that 50 day moving average, which of course is a 
fairly big one. But generally speaking, looking here at the FIB levels, this is what you really want to watch for. It being at $7.69, it is unfortunately between this S3 and the S2, which in comparison to a lot of other growth stocks, it's getting slammed. And I think obviously Tesla is to blame and the whole alliance, in my opinion, but in general, not necessarily the best. A lot of companies that are suffering very bad are within this range right now. Majority of the other growth stocks are between this S1 and the pivot right now, in all honesty. So charge point is getting slammed. And this is where I kind of do say that it is a little bit more of an overreaction. But things that you need to watch for is 706, that is the next big support range, versus $7.85, which it kind of did break it a little bit today, but $7.85 is that next big resistance point for charge point so obviously you guys take that how you see fit stochastic though is currently at 22 so it's gone kind of night and day difference over let's say a two week span so it went from very much overbought to very much oversold now so of course that's a fairly positive thing but looking at the momentum indicator number of retail investors are just out but like I said, typically the whole rule of thumb is you buy when there is a lot of blood and looks like institutions are running from charge point. Looks like retail is running from charge point. So if you do believe in what charge point can do bigger picture, then yeah, take advantage and obviously buy. But obviously given the nature of what has come out and developed over the last month per se, it's caused a lot more fear. So once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all of that in the comments below. If you you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and give yourself a shout out if you have been buying this is a little bit more of a tentative falling knife but are you buying at this stage and if not why and one final thing even though charge point is going down unfortunately uh, what you can do is take advantage of some free promos and one of which is with mumu link in the description below and also the comments sign up for a free account you get one free stock and each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars and over and above that as you can see just throw a hundred dollars at the account you get five free stocks and then plus you get a hundred dollar cash reward so literally this is the pure definition of a free promo which doesn't come too often so this is only up until June the 30th. Link in the description below and also the comments. With that said, appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money eventually on ChargePoint.